There is a lot going on with AI right now. Huge machine learning models are answering questions for us, finishing our sentences, copying our voices, writing emails, generating images, and so much more. Now, playing around with these tools is really compelling, and it's not hard to see how AI can actually start to become part of your work, but how can it become part of your business? How can you operationalize it day to day? At Glide, we think about AI a bit differently. We think about it as a way to unlock your data and transform the way that you're working. By combining the structured environment of your data with the unstructured creative engine of AI, you can actually truly leverage these models and automate entire workflows for your team, making AI that's specific to you. In this video, we're gonna give you a simple example of AI already in action, just to give you a flavor of how this might work, and then go into the details of actually how to set this up in a business use case. Here we have a table with just three columns, a text column for the type of food, a template column that takes that food and puts it into a prompt, and then an AI column that responds to that prompt. Now we've configured the prompt to identify if a food is spicy or not spicy, just by telling the AI what we want it to do. We can then view these responses as numbers or feed these numbers into another column, in this example, to get emojis. With this table as our data, we can then build a screen where users can input their food and have it automatically rated in terms of spiciness. We could then filter non-foods out of this list and sort by spiciness. We could even pull in stock images for each record. Now, this is a really lighthearted example, but what we've done here is still incredibly powerful when you realize that there is no spicy or not spicy column in Glide. That is not a feature that Glide made. We made that column with AI. It now analyzes data in exactly the way that we want and outputs that data to our data editor. And we can use that data, plug it into other computations, and then show that data in our app. AI on its own is powerful. AI in the data editor and the action editor is a whole nother thing. With it, you can dream up novel functionality that's never been made before and that's highly specific to your business and create new software and functionality that does exactly what you and your team need. So let's dive into a much more detailed example now of how to actually work with AI in a business use case. Here we have a property management app that we've integrated with OpenAI and Google Cloud Vision. With it, users can perform inspections, submit reports, view details about each property, and even ask questions about an entire table of data. On each properties page, users can upload an image and automatically the text in this image will be extracted and the AI will analyze it create a summary, and then very specific outputs that are relevant to what we care about. And all of this from uploading one image. Now, there's a lot here, so let's have a look at how to configure just some of this. To get started, we'll head over to OpenAI's website, sign up, add our billing info, and then create an API key. Then we'll open our app settings, head to integrations, select OpenAI, and input our API key. And we'll do the same for Google Cloud Vision. Opening the data editor will configure a table with the columns we need, just a simple one for the purposes of this example. The property name, image, and a place to store the uploaded image. In our app, we'll add a file picker and upload a sample. Next, we'll add the Google Cloud extract text from image column and connect the column to where our files have been uploaded to. Now the data from our image is suddenly in the data editor. Now, here we chose just a simple image, but your users could upload a PDF, take a picture with their phone. You could even leave a voice memo and have that be transcribed, anything that gets your data into the data editor. Now we can create computed columns for each step in our workflow. First, let's get the AI to read and summarize the text. We can use the default summarize column from OpenAI or create our own more specific prompt using ChatGPT. Next, we can make more columns with specific prompts that check for certain parameters and whether they're present in the least, like rules about subletting, pets, whether utilities are included, etc. For example, here our prompt says, you are a real estate contract lawyer. Check if subletting is allowed in the lease and respond with either yes or no. Now, you'll find that you need to actually play around and experiment with your prompts. Don't worry if they don't work first time. For example, here you can see that we've added some other things just to get exactly the result that we need. So next, we'll add two more columns in the same vein for both pets and utilities. Finally, we've now got all of this information in the data editor. We can actually put it in our app. 
Now, when users upload a new lease, our AI integrations process several different outputs instantly. And we have all of this new valuable data that we can use and build more features and workflows on top of, just from uploading a single image to our app. We are just at the start of all of this. The possibilities with AI are truly endless. Some of the features that we're most excited about and that are in Glide right now are visual recognition, speech to text, and text generation. With these three features alone, you can dream up endless use cases, like taking pictures of receipts and generating expense notes, completing forms by summarizing audio notes, enabling users to ask questions about your data, performing sentiment analysis on interview notes for candidates, and so much more. So there's a brief look at AI in Glide. You can try all of these features out today. We can't wait to see what you build.